Hey guys, just Coop from Garage Gym Reviews here in my garage, and today we're gonna lift heavy! Let's do it. All right, so I've been reviewing a new program. It's actually a hypertrophy-based program, so it's all about building the guns and the shoulders, actually, as well as other muscles. It's by Renaissance Periodization. It's their men's physique program. It's the most volume I've ever done, um, and I haven't hit uh, sets with reps less than 10. Most of them have been around 15 to 20, so I haven't lifted heavy for a while. I'm on a deload week, sorry, coach. Uh, but I'm gonna try and lift heavy here, kind of see where my strength's at. I figured I'd record it. So I'm just gonna do something heavy on deadlift and something heavy on bench. Probably won't be a true max, but it'll be something that's tough and we'll kind of see where it's at. I honestly don't know exactly where I'm at, but we'll see. Let's do it. Bar of choice for this deadlift is gonna be the Kabuki Strength New Gen Power Bar. It's 29 millimeters, so I was gonna use a deadlift bar, but if you do a deadlift and you use a deadlift bar, then people are like, well, you really don't lift that much because you're using a 27 miller slinky bar. So I'm just gonna use a regular power bar. Yep. Yeah. Feeling good today, folks. Gonna break a neighborhood record. Feeling good. Gotta open the garage door so all the neighbors can get jealous. He felt good on that. Let's do more. Okay, so this is right around 500 pounds, maybe a little bit over, maybe a little bit under. I put a 10 and a 10 pounder, not kilogram, change plates on either side. Uh, all my good plates are out on lend to uh, friends for the pandemic. So this is what we got today. I'm gonna give this a go. <laughs> I'm honestly not positive I'm gonna get this up right now, but we'll see. <laughs> Felt good. I haven't lifted heavy in a while. All right, 500 pounds, baby. That's for all you nephews. You know, the worst thing about lifting heavy is you gotta take all the freaking weight off. All right, one of you guys out there, I've got some really smart people, some engineers, mechanical engineers, some guys in high tech that follow us. Listen, come up with a way for the bar to empty itself. I've got a buddy that's actually working on a butler robot. It only lifts four kilograms currently, but man, if that thing could lift a 25 kilogram plate, put it on the shelf, that'd be nice. All right, now to bench. For bench, I'm gonna use the Red Power Bar EX. In my opinion, one of the least appreciated power bars on the market currently. A fully stainless, including sleeves, power bar with incredible neural around 400 bucks. It's hard to beat. It's a good bar. 
And of course, I'm doing it on the coop bench. It took me years to fully appreciate the value of the lessons I have learned from the iron. I used to think that it was my adversary, that I was trying to lift that which does not want to be lifted. I was wrong. When the iron doesn't want to come off the mat, it's the kindest thing it can do for you. If it flew up and went through the ceiling, it wouldn't teach you anything. That's the way the iron talks to you. Shaky on the uh, come out, but went up okay. I think it'll go up a little bit more. So 306, this is 300, over 300 pounds. This is probably the most I'm gonna go for tonight. It tells you that the material you work with is that which you will come to resemble. The iron never lies to you. Come on, Coop. You can walk outside and listen to all kinds of talk. Get told that you're a god or a total bastard. The iron will always kick you the real deal. The iron is the great reference point. The all-knowing perspective giver. Always there like a beacon in the pitch black. I have found the iron to be my greatest friend. It never freaks out on me, never runs. Friends may come and go, but 200 pounds is always 200 pounds. Yeah! Let's go! All right, I didn't pause on that one, so in a competition that wouldn't have counted. I get that. I'm not competing, training. In my garage for fun felt good about that over 300 i'm happy with that i'm happy with those numbers that was nice all right pretty good session so to kind of put some things into context every time i post something online i get told that i don't look like i lift uh that i look small <laughs> uh do i even lift why do i have all the equipment i don't lift here's here's the thing honestly i don't care that much when i was younger it mattered a lot uh, you know, it actually pr would prevent me from putting things online. The fact of the matter is though, what audience are you living for? Is it the audience of the internet and their approval, that sort of thing, or is it for something else? You know, my wife respects me, my kids look up to me, my dad's proud of me, um, you know, my God loves me. Those are, the, I mean, those are my audiences. That's who I care for. Um, and my friends, you know, so. I'm training for a different purpose than what a lot of people online are. My goal isn't to provide you with the best training footage or anything like that. My goal isn't necessarily to inspire you to lift heavier or anything like that. My goal is to be the best reviewer that's possible, to inspire you to become a better parent, to be a better husband, a better wife, a better in your job, all those sorts of things because the home gym can help you accomplish those things. So that's my goal. But every once in a while, it's nice to come out and remind people that I do train. You don't deadlift 500 pounds and bench over 300 pounds without training consistently for a long time, especially at you know my body weight, which is probably around 181 right now. Um, so yeah, train for who you're training for. Don't care about anybody else. It doesn't matter, dude. I'm tw so I'm like, I'm almost 30. I'm, I'm like 28. Yeah, <laughs> I always have to remind myself. I'm 28 years old. Uh, I've got two kids. I've got another one on the way. Um, I'm married. I've got multiple jobs. Training isn't my life. I'm not comparing myself to guys like Thor, guys like, you know, all these just absolute athletes who train specifically and only for strength. That's their job. I'm training so I can be a badass 90 year old. That's my goal. Peter T had this quote where he said, like, I'm training to be a badass nine year old. That really stuck with me because I'm not training for today. I'm training for tomorrow. I'm training so I can be with my kids and I can, you know, play with them. I'm training so I can be with my family. I'm training so I can be useful and, and helpful to society for a long time. That's what I'm training for. And if you see the guys that constantly beat their bodies to be stronger and bigger, that sort of thing, they're enhanced. I don't have anything against being enhanced. It doesn't matter to me, but constantly beating your bodies that's fine if that's what you're into and that's your hobby but if your goal is health and longevity and that sort of thing you know it has to be tailored in a certain way i don't want to be you know 50 years old 40 years old and you know struggling to get out of my car and everything like that uh not that that's the only reason i don't train heavy 
all the time we're not the only reason i don't seek world records i mean i wouldn't be a world record holder anyways i'd be you know if i if i was training specifically for powerlifting and that was my job i still wouldn't be you know national level just because my genetics but that said you know my goal isn't that so if that's your goal then hit it hard and focus on it. if it's not then focus on your other things don't worry about what other people say and just get it hard all right it's coop from garage and reviews thanks for watching we're building an awesome community see you next time peace